Kuzambula. We will be hosting our World Healing and Prosperity Retreat. We will be practicing Medicine Buddha or Guru Beshaze. The teaching was taught by Gautama Buddha. So during first teaching, he taught Vinaya of Medicine at Varanasi. During second time, the Bodhisattva Manjushri uh, requested Gautama Buddha to say the most powerful prayers. So I had to answer to Bodhisattva Manjushri, um, Gautama Buddha actually introduced Guru Beshanze that there is Buddha called Beshanze or Medicine Buddha, the most powerful Buddha, and he made the most profound, powerful prayers, his 12 wishes, and also introduced the practice of the Medicine Buddha called Sutra of Medicine, Medicine Buddha Sutra, and um, also uh, introducing teaching about uh, the pure land, eastern pure lands of Lapis Lazuli, uh, where the Guru Beshanze is still there and teaching all his disciples, including all of us, whenever we make refuge in prayers to him. So, uh, during the third teachings, Gautama Buddha taught about four tantras of medicine. So these teachings continue by Ananda and uh, passed down to all his disciples. So for example, our indigenous practice of medicine as well as Chinese TCM is from those four tantras of medicine Buddha. And uh, teachings to Himalaya was brought by Guru Padma Sambhava, of course, in, during the 8th century, and he taught this to King Tisong Dilsen and all the Himalayans. So, uh, because Guru Rinpoche Padma Sambhava received it from the Ananda lineage, as well as actually in the history, Guru Beshanze appeared in front of Guru Rinpoche and taught the entire teachings. So, Guru Rinpoche actually carries the lineage from the Gautama Buddha and the direct lineage from the Medicine Buddha. And in Himalaya, many masters practice Medicine Buddha as mainly as a cure, as well as a spiritual clearing obstacles. Among many traditions, the sky treasure, Nam Chui, was one of the most powerful lineage of Medicine Buddha, because the treasurer reveler that did Minjur Doji had visions of Guru Bekanze or Bishanze when he was nine years old and taught all the teachings. So during our annual retreat, I'll be practicing Menjurduji's tradition as one of the most powerful practice of Medicine Buddha. So uh, I encourage all of you to send in your prayers, aspirations, and be part of this world healing retreat to pray for all the parents and human beings with your love and compassion. Karin Shela, and I'll see you all.